each hound has a personality and and my children have personalities so you have to treat them both differently same way with the beagles maybe it uh, makes you realize it's all genetics you don't make that personality they're born with that personality after you're in it a few years you can sit and listen to a dog and you can tell exactly what that dog's doing by just listening to it. You, you can determine your dog's voice from any other body's dog or any person that you're running with, his dogs, you know his dogs from your dogs. And a lot of people think that's strange, but if you go long enough with me, I could, you'd, you'd catch on too. Bluefish, come on Bluefish, good boy. Vasper, Vasper, Vasper. People would say, why do you spend the time training them the way I've trained them? But in the field, then they respond to me, and I treat them as an individual. There you go. Yes. There you go. How are the kids this morning? With this setup, I've whelped them up here in January with no problem. And this is what I'm looking for, a white litter, because you can see them in the woods a lot better. If you raise a gang of seven puppies and you get one puppy out of there that's a good, outstanding dog, you've done good. You, a good coach can bring things out in a good athlete, but that athlete is born with that in him. Uh, the coach just more or less brings it forward. And that's what a guy does with a beagle pup. He takes it out, and if he works with it long enough, if it's got the potential there, it's going to shine.